When you input data from the keyboard, the computer will store your data in RAM and transfer it to the CPU for processing. The output may also be sent to a screen, over a local network to a file saver, or even across the world. The data will be sent by different ways, depending on how far it has to go. Today we'll be looking into the two main modes of data transmission, parallel and serial. No, not that one, but this one. Inside the computer, the data travels along multi-lane tracks called bus lines so that bits of data can travel at the same instant. This is called parallel transmission. Your processor works at thousands of millions of instructions per second, so it is important to move the data quickly between the CPU and RAM. Unfortunately, if the data has to go any further than about half a meter using parallel transmission, it tends to go So, serial transmission is used instead. In serial transmission, the data bits travel one after the other along the same wire and it is used to send data from the mouse to the keyboard to the computer and also to modems and other networks. <laughs> Retrieving data bits from a magnetic hard disk is a serial process, so by the time a group of bits is lined up ready to be sent in a parallel mode over to the multi lane channel to RAM, it might be just quicker just to send each bit as it is received in serial mode. This is because parallel transmission is more prone to corruption, so serial transmission becomes stronger and faster. <laughs>